of coverage in uh, hair transplant is going to depend on angulation of the incision. So it's important if you make the incision almost at 90 degrees, then the hair is going to be standing up like this. It's not going to provide coverage. But if you make the incision laying flat, parallel to the existing hair shaft, then you have a better coverage and better illusion of coverage because light will not penetrate it and reflect upon the scalp. So as you can see, I'm making incision one like this, the other one like that, and in the middle. So basically, one incision like this, another one, and another incision in the middle to block the light. This is how you make incision in order to give a best illusion of coverage. Obviously, the type of graph that you're gonna place here in the middle is gonna be important. We'll try to place a lot of threes and four in the middle because the patient has them. And single hair in the hairline one and two in what we call a transition zone. This is a transition zone. And then threes, threes and twos here for volume. So this is how we do a distribution of uh, graft during a hair transplant. And in order to make incisions, to make sure that you lay the incision flatter, less than 30 degrees in order to provide better coverage thank you so much for watching our videos and for more great content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also go to www.bhrclinic.com and start your journey for a free assessment with dr bazanga thanks ever so much let's get started together and look forward to seeing you soon